Greetings to another video. All my days, you are gonna love this recipe. It's my favorite like snack to take on the bike. It's really easy and simple to make. So that's the list of ingredients. I'm gonna leave them in the description box as well. First, you wanna start off by putting 250 gram of oats in a bowl. I don't have a bowl big enough, so I'm using my big pan. And then you wanna add in 100 gram of, it's dry weight of white rice, but obviously it's cooked. Then you just kind of mix them together. You can just use oats, you could just add more oats into this, but I like adding rice into it. Then you wanna add in like a handful of sultanas or raisins, and then a little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm adding 100 grams of light brown sugar. You can add maple syrup or anything that you want really, just some kind of sugar. And then you just wanna, like I'm pulling my sleeves up, I'm getting stuck in. And then you just wanna mix it all together. Honestly, it is the simplest recipe. Oh, I just love making this. And then you wanna add in 200 ml of apple juice. I would always use apple juice because I think it might be the pectin in it that's kind of, that tends to like bind it all together. I've tried it with pineapple juice and orange juice. It just doesn't work as well, so definitely go for apple. You could use apple and mango if you've got it, but make sure you've got some kind of apple juice in the mix. And you want it to be kind of like a little bit sticky on it all together. Um, oh, actually, strawberry jam as well. A tablespoon of that, strawberry or raspberry, whichever you prefer, that's just what I had in. So yeah, you want it to kind of like just stick together. You don't want it too liquidy, but you just want it kind of, as you can see there, just kind of a little bit sticky. And then you just want to line a oven proof dish with some baking paper or like a pie dish or whatever you've got. Baking paper is very important in this though because it means that it's not going to stick. So you can pull it out easily and then chop it up into nice little pieces. So use around two thirds of the mixture on the bottom and then you want to add in the frozen berries on top. Oop, miss one little blueberry. Also, I always take out the really big chunks like the uh, like strawberries or something like that because I just feel like they're a little bit too big and they get a little bit mushy. So yeah, and then I put the final third, there's probably more than a third there to be honest, the final rest of the mixture on top you can actually add sesame seeds or pumpkin seeds as well into this mixture, I just didn't have any in. I do quite like pumpkin seeds in it. So yeah, just make it all pretty, that's what it should look like. You want to chuck it in the oven for around 30 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. I probably left this in a couple of minutes too long, you just want it browned on the top. Leave it to cool and then chop it up into nice little pieces. And honestly, once you try this, you're not going to ever want to buy shop bought again because these are just such simple ingredients and it's so cheap to make. You can freeze them, you can leave them in the fridge. I've had these probably last, I would say they last maybe three, I'd say three or four days. I know people are a bit funny with like rice and I've never had any issues with it. Um, but you can just make it purely with oats if you want to. But yeah, I've never had any issues with it. And I've had one in my bag when I went to France and it was like three days and I still had a piece and I ate it on the way back. So honestly, the best bar for cycling you're ever going to make. So, so easy. I hope you found that video helpful. Let me know if you make them, let me know what you think of them, and I'll see you next video. Best little snack going. Super cheap. Super tasty. I can get a bit messy. In fact, have I got, have I got berries on my face? Oh, well. I can feel them. <laughs>